Hello friends and welcome to Jammer and Kids. I'm Teacher Jamaica and today we're going to be doing a circle time all about chickens and eggs. We're going to learn so much but first we're going to start with our hello song. So let's get out our hands and wave hello. Hello everyone. I'm so glad to see you. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing swell. It's time, it's time. It's time for Jamaroo. We'll sing and dance and read a story too. Cover your eyes. One, two, three. Pick a boo. Good morning, friends. I'm so glad that you're able to join us today. We're gonna get out our arms and we're gonna pretend like we're holding a big round globe, our planet Earth. Good morning, dear Earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning to the trees and the flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear bees, Bzzz. and the birds in the trees. Treat, 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 treat. Good morning to you, and good morning to me. Good morning. One of the ways we like to start our day here at Jammeroo Kids is by practicing practicing a little morning gratitude. So we're gonna take a big breath in through our nose. We're gonna breathe out through our mouth. We're gonna take a big breath in through our nose. We're gonna breathe out through our mouth. And we are going to close our eyes. We're gonna create a picture in our head that's called to visualize. And we're gonna think about some of the things that make us feel happy. The things we are grateful and thankful to have in our life like our family and our friends, the yummy food we get to eat, the fun things we get to do, all of those things, okay? Teacher Jamaica's gonna count to five. You close your eyes. Take one more big breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Open your eyes and tell whoever you're with today what it is that you're feeling grateful and thankful for. We are going to practice the days of the week. Do you remember how many days there are in the week? Hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> there are seven days in the week. There are seven days in the week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. Should we practice naming them one more time? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we start again. What is today? What day are you watching Circle Time? Ask your mom or dad if you don't know. We're gonna be talking about chicken and eggs today. So we're gonna start with talking about where does a chicken live? Hmm, they live on a farm. Do we know a song about a farm? Hmm, I know a couple songs about a farm. Do you know Old MacDonald had a farm? <gasps> you do? Can you help me sing it? Let's do it together. Let's make a rhythm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a roof, roof, dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there, 
Here at Roof, there at Roof, everywhere at Roof, Roof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a bunny, E-I-E-I-O. Can you put your bunny ears on? Stand up and show me your hops. With a hop, hop here and a hop, hop there. Here a hop, there a hop, everywhere a hop, hop. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, show me your hops. Wow, you're such good hoppers. And on his farm he had a sheep. E-I-E-I-O, with a bat here and a bat there. Here a bat, there a bat, everywhere a bat, bat. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Show me your duck wings. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O with a oink oink here and a oink oink there. Here a oink, there a oink, everywhere a oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O with a lay here and a lay there. Here it lay, there it lay, everywhere it lay, lay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, we forgot an animal. What did I say we're gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about chicken and eggs. Where is the chicken on Old MacDonald's farm? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Let's sing it one more time and see if the chicken comes out. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So this is a hen. A hen is a female chicken, and a rooster is a boy chicken. So we're gonna sing a song about this female hen because she's a mama, and she has some babies that are asleep inside of these eggs. Okay, here we go. Can you help me count these eggs? Let's count them. Let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five goes like this. Five little eggs in a coop I see. Mother hen is fast asleep. I've been waiting patiently. When out pops a chickie with a cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh, look at the little baby chick inside the egg. Now we have one, two, three, four eggs. Can you show me four fingers? Four little eggs and a coop I see. Mother hen is fast asleep. I've been waiting patiently. When out pops a chickie with a cheep, cheep, cheep. We have two chickies now, and we have one, two, three eggs. Can you show me three fingers? Three little eggs and a coop I see. Mother hen is fast asleep. I've been waiting patiently. When out pops a chickie with a cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh, now we have one, two, three little chicks. And we have one, two eggs. Can you show me two fingers? One, two. Two little eggs in a coop I see. Mother hen is fast asleep. I've 
been waiting patiently. When out pops a chicky with a cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh, now we have one, two, three, four little chickies and we only have one egg. Can you show me one finger? Good job, friends. One little egg in a coop I see. Mother hen is fast asleep. I've been waiting patiently. When out pops a chicky with a cheep, cheep, cheep. Out pops a chicky with a cheep, cheep, cheep. So we have one, two, three, four, five little chickens in those eggs. That is so much fun. We're gonna put that away and we are going to sing a Lori Berkner song. Are you ready? Can you get out your shakers? If you don't have one, go find anything that you can use to shake or anything you can use to tap. Are you ready? I have my shaker. Do you have your shaker? Can you shake your shaker? So we're gonna put our shakers down for a minute and we are going to put on our chicken wings like this, okay? So this is a fun Lori Berkner song and we love Ber Larry, Lori Berkner at Jamaroo. So we're gonna sing her song, it goes like this. I know a chicken, I know a chicken and she laid an egg and she laid an egg. I know a chicken, I know a chicken and she laid an egg and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's a shaky egg, it's a shaky egg. Shake them fast, shake them so fast. Now shake them slow. Now shake them so slow. Shake them up high. Shake them up high. Now shake them down low. Shake them down low. One more time. Say, I know a chicken. I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. And she laid an egg. I know a chicken. I know a chicken and she laid an egg and she laid an egg. Say, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's a shaky egg, it's a shaky egg. Let's do it again. Shake them fast. Shake them so fast. Now shake them slow. Shake them really slow. Shake them high, up to the sky. Now shake them low, down to your toes. Good job. That is such a silly song. So let me ask you a question. Do chickens really lay shaky eggs? Do you really lay a shaky, shaky egg? She says, no, I don't, I don't lay a shaky egg. I lay real eggs. Oh, you do? We're gonna read a book about chickens and the eggs that they lay. Are you ready for story time? We're gonna be doing a book called Millie's Chickens. That's the title of the book. This book is written by Brenda Williams. That's the person who wrote all the words for us to read. And then it's illustrated by Valeria Sis. So we are going to do this book together and learn all about chickens and eggs. Are you ready? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The mystery grows and grows, but it has been said that the rooster knows and that is why he crows and crows. Let's see. Here's Millie's rooster, happy and proud, greeting the world by crowing out loud. Cock a doodle doo. Here are the hens strutting around, free to wander and peck at the ground. Did you 
see our hens? She has one, two, three hens, and one rooster. <gasps> Here is Millie, up at dawn, feeding her chickens pellets of corn. Here is Silky, friendly and calm, happily tucked under Millie's arm. That's Silky. Here is Rhody, heavy and brown. She lays eggs that are big and brown. Here is Leggy, who lays blue eggs, strutting around on long, slim legs. Here is Millie looking around, but where is Silky? She can't be found. Oh no, is Silky playing hide and seek? Does Millie look a little concerned? A little worried? I think so. Here is Silky hiding away, finding a place where she can lay. Silky is looking for a quiet place where she can relax and lay some eggs. Here's Silky's nest. She's such a good mother. She's happy to care for her own eggs and others. She's sitting on her blue eggs and she's sitting on some other eggs too, some brown eggs and some white eggs. She's sitting on all the hen's eggs. Here are the chicks hatching out well, pecking their way from inside the shell. They're coming out. They're coming out to discover the planet Earth. Here is the water the little chicks need. They drink it all up to wash down their feed. Here is the hopper. The grit in its tray will grind up the food in the hen's gizzards each day. Here is the sunshine. The warm spring weather helps the chicks grow in their grown up feathers. <gasps> Here is the house called a coop or an ark where the hens go to bed as soon as it's dark. <gasps> Do you see this? This is where they sleep. It's called a coop or an ark. Here is Millie. She shut the door tight, keeping her chickens safe through the night. Here is the fox snooping around, but all of the chickens are safe and sound. Here is the morning. Millie opens the pen. The chickens roam free in the garden again. Here's Millie's basket. She puts the eggs in with cream, brown, and blue ones. It's full to the rim. Do you see all the eggs in her basket? Looks like she has some pretty lavender in there too. And the eggs are different colors. Here are the eggs for Millie to eat with hot toast and butter, a delicious treat. And that's the end of the story. But in this book, we have some end matter, some fun, interesting facts, so we can learn a little bit more about chickens and eggs. Do you want to learn a little bit more? If you do, touch your nose. Okay, are you ready? Put on your listening ears. It says about chickens. Chickens come in many shapes and sizes.
baby chickens are called chicks. But once a chick starts to grow, it's called different names. Female chicks become pullets and at around eight weeks old. Then they become hens when they are old enough to lay eggs. Only hens lay eggs. Some hens lay fewer eggs as they grow older. Hens over the years may not lay as many eggs after they're three years old. Young male chickens are called crockles and are called cocks and roosters when they are fully grown. Chickens are fully grown when they are one year old. So here's a rooster, a hen, a pullet, a crockle, and a chick. Breeds of chickens, that means different types of chickens. There are hundreds of chickens breeds, but there are three kinds of hens in Millie's book, in this book that Millie likes to keep. The book, the chickens in the book are very friendly and good nature. These are breeds that are excellent chickens for children to keep as pets. The Rhode Island Red. These chickens are not always red. Sometimes their plumage is dark or it looks maroon. And sometimes it has white streaks. Their eggs are light brown. People like raising the Rhode Island Reds because they are strong and sturdy birds. Are you strong and sturdy? Show me your muscles. Oh, I bet you are. They also lay lots of eggs. That's why people like to have them as pets. The breed is from the state of Rhode Island. And that is a state here in the United States. And they were first bred there in the late 1800s. That's a very long time ago. Okay, then we have the, the cream leg bar. The cream leg bar, you can identify the male and female leg bars as soon as they hatch. Male chickens have lighter plumage and the females are usually have a cream spot on their head. Cream leg bars are good egg layers and their eggs are usually light blue but can also be an olive green. There's another breed of chicken called the Americana and they also um, lay greenish colored eggs. A silky. Silkies are calm and friendly. They have fluffy feathers that look like hair and feel very smooth. Silky hens are not very good at laying eggs, but they are excellent mothers and they are quite happy to look after other chickens' eggs as well as their own eggs. And they make great pets because they like to snuggle. Now, these chickens have five toes. Most chickens only have four toes, but the silky has five, just like we have five toes. Ooh, here's the rooster. Perhaps he likes to roost or sit resting on a high perch. A fully grown cockerel is often called a rooster. It is the same way that many birds sing. He will crow loudly first thing in the morning to mark his territory. A happy rooster will also crow at any time of the day or even at night if he's disturbed. A rooster will protect his hens and some roosters even fight off attacks by predators like dogs and foxes. Wow, he is a brave bird. Can you say, <laughs> He's very loud too. Keeping chickens. Chickens make lovely pets. They are easy to keep and can live in gardens or backyards as well as you have um, a large area of land to roam around. Chickens need a safe place that is fox proof, like a coop or an ark. That's somewhere where they can go at nighttime to keep them safe. And they need food twice a day and they need plenty of fresh water. They also need grit, which helps them digest their food. And they need clean straw and sawdust in their coop. Most chickens can, um, can only fly short distances, so you don't have to worry about them escaping because they can't fly very far. Um, not only are their fresh eggs delicious to eat, but they're also very good for you. Birds can also be very social and friendly depending on the breed of chicken. Like Silky's, very friendly bird. Okay. 
We're not gonna get into all of this part. We will just talk about the bird, parts of the bird. So the bird has different parts. It has the top, the little red part on the top of their head is called the comb. Then it has their beak. Now birds don't have teeth, right? So chickens don't have teeth. So the chicken or the hen has, or the, or the rooster has a comb and a beak and then it has a waddle. That's the red part. Now, if you have a hen, the comb and the waddle is gonna be smaller than it would be on a rooster. It also has two tummies. Because it has a beak and it doesn't have teeth, it can't chew its food. So it has two tummies and that's how it can digest its food. How many tummies do we have? We only have one tummy, right? Just one. So their two tummies are called the crop and the gizzard. So those are their two tummies. And then it has a liver. We have a liver. And it has their intestines as well. Okay, let's see. Feeding. Chickens eat seeds, grains, and insects. Young chickens need food that is high in protein. Grit helps chickens to digest their food by grinding it up in their gizzard. What's their gizzard? One of their tummies, right? Free range hens eat grass and insects in addition to the grain. And their eggs are more healthy for us to eat because those chickens have a better balanced diet. That's like us, right? When we wanna be healthy, we're gonna eat a little vegetables, a little grain, we have to have some protein, we have all sorts of things. Well, it's the same thing for chickens. If they just have grain, they're not gonna be as healthy as if they're eating some grass and a little bit of bugs or insects. Breeding chickens, this is very interesting. A hen will start to lay eggs when she's about six months old. Some hens actually will lay eggs as young as four months old. If hens are kept with a rooster, then their eggs will be fertilized. Only fertilized eggs will grow into chicks. For chicks to hatch, fertilized eggs need to be kept in a warm place either under a hen that can keep the eggs warm or in an incubator, which would have special lights to give off heat. It takes 21 days for a fertilized egg to hatch into a chicken. So most of the eggs that we eat, the eggs that we eat are not fertilized. So those eggs, they wouldn't hatch into chickens because an egg has to be fertilized to turn into a baby chick. And then it has to sit under the mama for 21 days or we have to put it in a safe warm place with lights so it will it will feel like it's warm under the mama collecting eggs eggs need to be collected every day it's important not to keep them for too long before you eat them old eggs go bad and eating them can make you feel sick and yucky rotten eggs are very smelly pu to check if an egg is fresh, you can put it in a bowl of water. Fresh eggs will sink and older eggs will float because air seeps into the shell as they age. Do you know what that means? Seeps, that means a little bit of air gets into the shell and that's what's gonna cause those eggs to float if they're old. If an egg floats, you should not eat it because it will make you sick. Eating eggs. Eggs taste best if you eat them on the day they are laid. Most of us aren't lucky enough to eat fresh eggs, but some people who have chickens as pets get to. People who maybe live on a farm. Free range hens are raised outdoors with lots of space to lay eggs and they tend to have tastier eggs that are better for you. Eggs can be delicious and they also are very healthy. They are rich in protein and vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important. We get vitamin D from the sun too. Cooking eggs, wow! There are so many ways you can cook eggs. Let's see, there are lots of ways you can cook eggs. These are some of them. Don't forget you can also use eggs in cakes, muffins, pancakes, waffles, cookies, breads, all sorts of stuff. But if you wanted to just eat eggs by themselves or just on a toast, you could have a poached egg. 
You could have a fried egg. Some of us call a fried egg a sunny side up egg. You could have a hard boiled egg. That's when we often, I like to hard boil eggs at Easter time and then I'll dye my eggs different colors. You could have scrambled eggs. You could also make an omelet. You could also make a dish like French toast or frittata or strata. So many things you can make with eggs. It was so much fun today learning about chickens and eggs. And now it's time to wave goodbye. So let's wave goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. We had some fun today. It was so nice to laugh and sing and play. We sang some songs and we danced. Now it's time to get our stamps. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. I hope you had some fun with Jamaroo. Thanks for coming and singing with us. We'll see you again real soon. Wave goodbye to the chicken.